Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, the input shaft or pump seal started leaking after two miles after I started driving it. I pulled the pump seal out and there was no silicone on the pump seal. It was just oiled and stuck in. And where it leaked was right out the bottom. This is the new steel installed. And I'm gonna show you if you don't have a seal puller tool how to do it. Now, you're gonna get I'm going to show you how to do it and how to install it. You don't need any special socket or um, two and a half inch piece of uh, PVC. This is what you need. You need a flathead about maybe about that big. And you're going to stick the edge of the flathead right in there. And if you need to stick a piece, a small piece of wood, you can stick a piece of wood and just push up against the wood and it's going to push the intake out, the gasket out. So you stick up maybe a thin piece of wood like that. That's how I did it and I just pried it right out. I had a small flathead. Now to install it, since there was no silicone on the other one, I got a Master Pro this one. And I put red high temp silicone around it. Now I pushed it in. I pushed it in by hand after I had the silicone on. My hands are a little red from it. I use high temp red. You need at least 500 degree temperature or more. Now after I sealed it, I used this or a piece of small wood. The back of this wood hammer, as you can see, it's red. And I gently tapped four sides. After I tapped four sides, I went from here to here, here to here, here to here. Then I went around this way. Then I went back around the other way. After I got done with the hammer, I used a little bit more force. This is a bigger bar. As you can see, it flattened out. The metal piece conforming it to the metal. And I'm going to go ahead and briefly show you. You're going to want to do like this in a circular pattern. You know, you can go like this first to seat it. And then tap it in harder and you will see the silicone come out you want to make sure it's flush I don't have two hands but I hit it with a little bit of pressure with this thing this has got a little bit of weight to it as you can see now after this you're gonna see it gooping out from the edge all the way around you're gonna closely inspect all the way around the gasket and make sure everything's perfectly seated and then this has got to cure for 24 hours to silicone before you install it or add fluid to the transmission. So I wanted to show you the easy way. You don't need tools. You just need something to tap it in. You can push it on by hand first and tap each four corners and then start going around slowly tapping and then work gradually harder tapping with something a little heavier. You're going to want to hit right here all the way around. Red or black will work. Thanks, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. And this is an automatic input shaft seal or pump seal installation and removal. Thanks. Like, subscribe, and share. And as always, keep on dreaming.